Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, we need to talk about a couple of new trademarks that have come around. Well, I would say in the Pokemon trading card game, it's like it always is when we look at trademarks. And we've looked at trademarks a few times before. We don't actually know, therefore, the trading card game, but they have been made under class 28, which is games, toys, and playthings, which is where TCG comes in. And essentially, you know, and I work with a lovely poker guardian when we're talking about stuff like this, we've got a pretty good hit rate in, and I don't, I, I'm probably wrong at some point, but as it stands at the moment, when I bring you news about these new trademarks, they end up being for the Pokemon trading card game. Now, that does not mean that it absolutely is going to be for them. But I feel confident enough to show you. I mean, to put it into context, the last two I showed you were Fusion Arts, which has turned out to be Sword and Shield 8. That was a set I showed you the other day. Official reveal, incidentally, is coming in about 10 days for that one. So yeah, that trademark was made, and I said, hey, it's probably for a Pokemon TCG set. And then they went and revealed, Revealed it and it turned out that it was. Now, the other trademark they revealed last time was VMAX Climax. As it stands at the moment, and again, this is all subject to change, obviously. We've not heard about that, we've not seen it. But then again, we saw trademarks in the past for Jet Black Poltergeist and Silver Lance, which turned out to be the two sets from Sword and Shield 6. We saw trademarks for Skyscraping Perfect and Blue Sky Stream, which turned out to be the set names for Sword and Shield 7. We saw a trademark being filed for EV Heroes, which turned out to be Sword and Shield 6A. What I'm telling you is, yes, it is a trademark. No, we don't have concrete information. No, we don't even know that it's CCG related. But we've looked at a bunch of these in the past said they probably are TCG related, and they have turned out to be TCG related. So with all of that said, what have we got? We have got Starbirth and Battle Region. Now, obviously, I don't really know what to do with these. Starbirth, incidentally, could be Starverse because of the way language works. Uh, Battle Region is extremely clear. It is Battle Region. That was nice and easy. Uh, Sutabasu is Star Birth or Star Verse. I'm going to go with Star Birth because that seems more like a Pokemon set name. But do bear in mind, it, it could have a slightly different interpretation. The thing is, Battle Region doesn't really tell us very much at all. That is basically a description of the Pokemon franchise as a whole. Star Birth, however, I think we can start making some really nice predictions. The thing is, it's not that easy. Like, when we saw Skyscraping Perfect, one of my predictions was Duraludon V Max, because it's a giant Skyscraping Pokemon. That was the only one that made sense. Blue Sky Stream, I told you it was going to be the Rayquaza set and possibly the Deoxys set, because it fit with a previous set name, which was all built around Rayquaza. So that made perfect sense. Eevee Heroes, I'm going to be honest with you, Eevee Heroes was a bit of a slam dunk. It's an Eevee set. That one, the clue very much was in the name. And to be fair, Jet Black, Poltergeist, and Silver Lance, we weren't too good on the predictions until we saw the existence of Shadow Rider and Ice Rider Calyrex. And the second that the Crown Tundra was released and these Pokemon were revealed. Because remember, in a, in a move that was very unusual for Pokemon, these were not revealed. Spectra and Glastria were not revealed before the release of the Crown Tundra. But as soon as the Crown Tundra came out and we got to those Pokemon, it was like, oh, yeah, we know exactly what these set names are. So a lot of the time, what we can actually do is we can look at the set name and basically tell you what the set's going to be about or who the cover Pokemon are going to be. And to be fair, for the last five sets, that being the two Sword and Shield 6 sets, the two Sword and Shield 7 sets, and EV Heroes, it has honestly been extremely easy. Now, Fusion Arts, we now know, is based around Mew, or at least Mew is the cover Pokemon. There was no really good way to know that beforehand. 
And honestly, we still don't know what fusion Pokemon are. But like I've said, as I recall this, we are 10 days away from the official reveal. Which, of course, happens to fall in the first week off I've had in literally years. But yes, obviously, I will take a morning of my week off and bring you the news. Because I'm going to be honest with you, I am super psyched to make videos about that when it's finally revealed. So let's go back to the trademarks we have today then and see what we can find. Starbirth. And honestly, when I see Starbirth, there are two Pokemon that spring to mind more than any others. We've got Jirachi, who is a star-shaped Pokemon, and Arceus. Because remember, Starbirth kind of sounds like the birth of stars, which is kind of like the birth of the universe. And who is the creator Pokemon that was around and created it all? Arceus. That's who was around and created it all. So, those are the two that spring to mind for me immediately. Obviously, if we think Sun, we could go for Solgaleo. Obviously, the cover Pokemon for Pokemon Sun. We could go for Solrock, who is a Sun Pokemon. But they're not using the word Sun, they're using the word Star. And I think at this stage, Pokemon would just use the word sun if they meant sun. So I don't think Solgaleo is a particularly strong prediction. I'm not buying it at all. I think we need to look for space Pokemon or cosmic Pokemon or Pokemon with star-shaped heads. You know, Jirachi is a wish Pokemon. What do you wish on? You wish upon a star. So absolutely, Jirachi makes a bunch of sense here. And actually, we should go back to Deoxys here. Deoxys might be the DNA Pokemon. But remember that Deoxys arrived in a meteorite, i.e. came in from space. And we see flying around in space, etc. So I know I predicted Deoxys before and it turned out to just be Rayquaza, not Deoxys. But I again think this is a, a fairly sensible prediction. And do remember that these sets tend to be based around either super popular Pokemon, think things like Eevee Heroes, or they tend to be based on legendary Pokemon, think things like Blue Sky Stream. Obviously, there is an exception nowadays whereby Gigantamax Pokemon are often featured, like, for instance, Skyscraping Perfect is your Gigantamax Duraludon set. And we've seen that before, that does make sense. And now, while we're talking about things like Arceus... We need to remember that there's an Arceus game coming. Now, I did a video a little while ago where I looked at the possibility of getting a tie-in set for this Arceus video game. And the answer is we don't know. We have absolutely no idea whether there is going to be a tie-in set for the Arceus video game. Although, if you go to that video, it is worth pointing out that we have generally seen tie-ins. Like, generally speaking, when we get a new video game, we tend to get a tie-in TCG set. Sometimes it's super explicit. Think things like Heart Gold Soul Silver. And other times it's a little bit less explicit. Think things like Primal Clash. But we do, in some way or other, tend to get a tie-in set when we have a new game. Now, it's also worth bearing in mind that we do have Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl coming out as well. And remember that Arceus is actually seeing a release date on January the 28th, whereas Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are coming out on November the 19th, just two months and nine days earlier. Now, bearing in mind, you know, certainly over here, outside of Japan, we have a three-month gap between sets. That does not leave much room for doing a tie-in set for the pair of them, i.e. a different set for each of them. But that is something which is kind of interesting to think about. But certainly, I could absolutely see this being a tie-in set for Legends Arceus. Because what we're talking about here is Starbirth, and that firstly sounds like Arceus. And then we've got the fact that Arceus is set the game very much in the past. At a stage where it wasn't really running around, catching Pokemon, fighting, etc. So there is absolutely a possibility here. Is that we get a tie-in set with Arceus which is kind of celebrating the birth of Pokemon battling as we know it. And then if that is the case, 
if we go back to the other trademark of Battle Region, maybe. Bearing in mind, these games are all set in Sinnoh, so maybe the Battle Region just refers to Sinnoh with all the games coming out. Like I've said, Battle Region, it is really hard to try and make anything out of Battle Region, because Pokemon is a game where you explore regions and catch Pokemon and battle with Pokemon. So it really is hard to get anything specific. Starbirth, I really do think we're looking at Arceus, Jirachi, and Deoxys. I think they have got to be the top three contenders but as always this is not obvious like i've said we've had a bunch of trademarks in a row that really were super obvious as to what the set was going to be based around but then again even with the last couple of sets we knew it was going to be based around the dlc for pokemon sword and shield it kind of had to be but now that's kind of been done so now what? And the answer is, uh, I guess we will figure out. I like doing these videos. I like chatting through this stuff. But it is weird. You know, like I've said, this is very much a prediction video. All I can do is show you the trademark and talk about what it could be. Obviously, as soon as we get any news whatsoever, I will absolutely share it with you. It's kind of what I do. Remember, of course, we've also got VMAX Climax that we are still waiting to hear about, but it seems like we'll be waiting a little bit longer for that. For now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know what you think about all of this, and I want to know what your predictions are, so let me know in the comment section. Go nuts! Be nice! And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio where you can do exactly that but by far the most important thing as always look after yourselves till next time would ya thank you very much for watching my name's ross and you've been watching ptcg radio